um, because people, I think, you know, were thinking he was intimate with, with the his, pig. Right. He was, so no, which is not true. No bestiality in this no, film. Nothing. No, nothing like that. It was just one man's affection for a pig. Very common. Very common. <laughs> it happens. It happens all the time. <laughs> We're back! Another, this is our second movie, movie review. review. Movie review. And we're gonna keep doing them. Because this is fun, right? Yes, it's fun. I don't I'm know happy. how many people enjoy it. Well, we'll find out. You get the, but hopefully, it's fun for hopefully us. People will leave and it. our kids think we're weird, so that's okay. That's, and a, that's just our goal in life. Aggravating our children makes this worthwhile. Yes. Oh, and here comes the poocher. Yeah. Because he it, hears it has, stuff. It aggravates our dog as well. If he hears laughing, he's in. Yeah, he, he, wants, he wants to be part of it. Right there. All right, so we don't talk to each other. At you least, mean, you uh, mean well, when we're watching movies and right, after the movie. Right, or at least regarding these reviews. Because yes. we want it to be surprised what we think. Yes. Or, Although we, you know, we'll see how surprised we are. In fact, you keep telling me during the movie, don't say a word, don't say well, a word. Well, because you keep wanting to talk to me about it. <laughs> and I, I want you to hold it to, to here so we can see how we, how we compare. Um, Ooh, smelly breath. So this time we're reviewing the movie Pig. Yes, starring Pig. Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage and uh, Alan Alex Arkin. Wolf. And, and Alan Arkin. And, but Alan Arkin has a relatively small role in this yes, movie. Yes, he does. But uh, they're the three main characters in this movie. Right? Yes. They're the three main characters. Oh, one order of business before we go on. What's that? You wanted to come up with a name for this segment. You you wanted to, to you know, you didn't want it to be called, uh, well, this is, this by the way, this is primetime musings. Yes. And we're going to muse about movies. Our movie reviews are a form of our musings. But you wanted to call the segment something. So we're, we're trying we're to We're trying to up, think of a name. We're trying to think of a name. Um, you like the idea, I suggested that we, we call it She Completes Me. That way, you know, I thought that would be good, but that might be a little bit, uh, that might be too... Uh, a little I hokey. Ho I don't know if it's hokey. I don't Maybe know if it's, it's hokey. You know what, it's, it's from a movie. You complete me. I, I think it's, I think people will be asking for my man card. But I don't think I really I'm gonna have to turn it in. You don't, well, <laughs> this is your opportunity to do that. I think you do complete me, okay? okay? And certainly our roles here, I see my role as the facilitator because you are the true movie critic of the two of us. You have the insight, you understand what's happening in these movies and you have the ability to tell the world. I don't you know, know about that, but. You don't? No. All right, well, I think you do. I think you do. I think, let's look at, let's take Pig as an example, okay? okay. Pig, for me, uh, I, we don't, I guess we'll start with saying, worth the watch if you like character movies. Because this is another character movie. It's a yes, character it study. Yes, it is. It's a character study. And um, like The Lost Mother that we... That no, we, Lost Daughter. Lost, the Lost Mother. The Lost, the lost Mother. <laughs> <laughs> the, lost, the Lost Daughter that we just saw. That was a character study. Uh, that was on motherhood. This is more about grief. Yes. This loss. is about loss. An acceptance of the grief. An acceptance of the grief, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and everyone deals with it differently. And you have three main characters, each dealing with it differently in this movie. Yes. Right? That's, yes. that's my broad approach. But why don't you give a synopsis on Pig? What is Pig all about? Pig. Tell us about the story. Yes. Pig stars Nicolas Cage. He is a loner who lives in the woods in Oregon, and uh, he basically lives in a beat up old cabin. He looks like he is filthy, he hasn't showered. I don't believe he has running water. He doesn't have a phone. I don't even know if he has electricity. Um, and he lives with a pig, and he hunts truffles. And the pig is his assistant. So he finds the truffles are very close. They like each other. They're, yes. He, he, that pig That's his is, pet. Well, more than the, the pig is... His companion. Yes, the pig is his companion. Um, he's very close with the pig. In yes. fact, in the very beginning of this movie, Nicolas Cage doesn't speak for quite some time. You get the feeling he hasn't spoken for a long time. He barely, when he finally gets a visit, the first other human interaction he has is with Amir. Yes. Who visits him weekly to... Well, you have to explain who Amir yeah, is. to pick up truffles. Yes. He... he he, he's there to get truffles that he sells to the restaurant market in yes. Portland. And 
high-end restaurant. In exchange for that, I guess he brings him supplies and you know whatever they have some sort of yes. deal. But he pays him in some form. I don't think he pays him with money. I think he no. pays him supplies. And it seems like Nicolas Cage doesn't care. Right. He just wants to live that life away from everything, off the grid, with his pig. So. You, you can see that Nicolas Cage is melancholy. He's an unhappy man, mm -hmm. that you can tell. Um, at some point early on, he plays a, a uh, he has a cassette deck and mm -hmm. he puts in, it's an old beat up- uh, Tape. Yeah, and cassette player. Mm -hmm. And it says, for his birthday or? For Robin. For Robin, and it's, it goes by Rob, for Robin. And you hear a woman's voice saying, stop it, you know, leave me alone. Um, that was, by the way, my best imitation. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we should reenact some scenes from the movie. Should we reenact some <laughs> you scenes? You can be the pig. I can be the pig. It would come very natural to me. I, I, I do snort a lot. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so you can see, you know, there's some foreshadowing there that that's, you know, there's a, you know, that's yes. an important part of his life. Yes. Um, but, well, go ahead. The pig is kidnapped, or er, stolen. And that is the central. Uh, it's the uh, basis for the whole movie. Basically, a man in search of his pig. Yes. Who would think that would be the premise for a major yes. motion picture? A man looking for his pig. I wonder what the actors thought when they read the script. So it's an offbeat movie. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, you know, so if you like that type of movie, this is great. I tend to like that type of movie. I, I like it. the character study. Mm -hmm. um, so it. It, it interested me and in following him on his pursuit of his pig. And by the way, it was always just referred to as pig. Pig. Um, he has to re-enter society to find his pig. And he's willing to re-enter society. For the pig. Because clearly he did not want any part of society, but the pig meant enough yes. for him to yes. go and do that. So he's in search of his pig. Mm -hmm. uh, without giving too much away, uh, we should discuss some of perhaps what happens in his search for the pig. Um, he goes back, he's clearly been away for a long time and you get this, there are indications he's been away for more than 10 plus years. Yes, yes. He goes into a diner at one point and he asks for someone, they said, she died 10 years ago, yeah. something like that. So you know he's been gone for a long mm -hmm. time, um, but ultimately he goes back in and there are some I don't know, some strange scenes. And when I first watched it, I thought to myself, what mm -hmm. is going on? I mean, it just seems so strange. First of all, you got a well, guy chasing, looking for his pig. Yeah. So. Then it goes into the secret underworld of the high-end restaurant scene. Right, because, you know, the I, you know so whoever wanted the pig, obviously someone who wanted the pig for its ability. For truffles. For truffles. And uh, so. That was he, interesting. Yeah. That whole thing is an area I never thought about. Me well, how do you get, me you know, where do truffles come from? Yeah. Well, I did some research yeah, on truffles. Yeah, what did you learn? Um, pigs are used quite a bit for, for hunting for truffles. They also use dogs, but pigs, because they have a really keen sense of smell, and truffles remind pigs of, well, they use female pigs, remind the female pig of the male pig. So they think it's the pheromones being sent out from the male pig, and they go and dig it up. But the problem is, if the pig is not trained, the pig will eat the truffle. But they're very good at it. Okay. This is all news to me. So, interesting. Yes, very um, interesting. But, so they go back and he's going, he knows where to search. He's going to go to back to the uh, people who are really interested in truffles, mm -hmm. right? To try to find out who might have stolen his pig or who has his pig. And it takes a turn where he goes and he, he goes to this underground fight club. Uh, and it's an underground fight club. And For restaurants. All restaurant workers. Yeah. Uh, so he goes into this fight club, and I guess it's his way of, you know, when I first watched it, I couldn't understand why is he doing this, but it's, I think it's yeah, a way Yeah, the whole of, thing didn't make sense at first. Well, it's a, it's, I guess it's his way of making sure that they know he's alive, he's, he's looking, and he's looking for his pig. It's a way for him to announce himself, because when he puts his name, he writes his name on the, le the board as the guy who is announcing he wants to fight in the next round, people take notice and it's obviously he's a man of stature or was a man of stature. Yes. It's like he's coming back from the dead of sorts. He's, you know, he's risen and uh, he writes his name Robin Feld and you come to learn that he was a highly accomplished, maybe the most accomplished, most renowned chef in Portland. So he was a big time guy um, and 
I guess that's his way of letting people know. Now that scene still was kind of crazy to me. I don't think it's necessarily his, his way of letting them know. It was also the man who was running the fights. Mm -hmm. He had told Rob in the scene before that he didn't exist. He had been gone so long, he no longer existed. And I think by Nicolas Cage, by putting himself into the fight scene mm -hmm. was his way of saying, I may get knocked down, but I don't give up. I am here yes. and I am a fighter and yes. I want my pig and I'm not giving up. I found it very interesting and again, don't want to be too much of a spoiler, but we're fairly far into this now. Mm -hmm. When he gets in there, Nicholas Cage looks very large. And he does look big. And I think that's on purpose. They, I mean, he might be a big guy. I don't know how big he is, but they make him look very large. He gets, he fights a very small, small really guy. Really small just, guy. Yeah. Okay. And, and you, Wait, you get the feeling, you get the feeling like, you know, because, you, you know, he's got a smoldering rage. It's very subdued, but you know he's really well, pissed his about his chair and everything is, like, everything's held in. Right. The so way he you walks, keep waiting, it's tight. You keep waiting for it to explode. Yes. And that's, you know, that's another interesting thing about the way the movie handles that. I think that's, uh, that's another interesting approach. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to give too much of the movie away. Oh, we should. Of course, standard with every one of our reviews, we have to review sex scenes. And, or we have to let people know, because some people, you know. There were no sex scenes in this movie. Okay, there were no sex scenes, so, but it is rated R. Yes. And it's rated R because of language and violence. Because. Not too much violence. There's not too much. Just but, a little bit. But there's, there, you know, there's some, some ass kicking. And, um, and the word <laughs> is used. <gasps> and motherfucker. Really? That's okay. it is, yes. Yeah, that's used. But um, because people, I think, you know, were thinking he was. Sleep intimate with, with the his, pig right, his, so no which is not true no bestiality in this no, film nothing. no nothing like that it was just one man's affection for a pig very common very common. <laughs> it happens it happens all the time um so if you can get over that premise if uh the a, a man loves his pig and wants his pig back um it's actually a very good film it is a good film it's, I, it's basically a character study of the three main characters um, they all have suffered some loss. And it's all how they deal with loss. Yes. Each one of them deals differently. Differently. And also, you know what I found interesting? Mm. Um, two scenes indicated this. Um, I think Rob, Nicolas Cage, when he went into the woods to live, when he removed himself from society, I think he thought the world was stopping and was going to stay the same. And the reason... What, what gave you that idea? The reason why... Um, first of all, he went into the restaurant and asked for this woman, and she'd been dead in 10 years. Well, that was to, I think, that's to let the well, audience know that he had been out. I, I know, but that's one. But then he went back to the restaurant he had owned, and a former employee had changed it. And he was surprised it was changed into that. I don't know if he was thinking yeah. that maybe it was going to be the same. He even went by his old house. Oh. And the tree in the backyard. A person, yeah, person this tree. is the third thing. Yeah. The tree in the backyard was gone. He assumed it would still be there. But well, things move on. I things it, change. Right. I think I think it was just to show things change. Yes, that's what I think. Um, yeah, for sure. I agree mm -hmm. with that. For, for sure. So, um, anything else that we should cover? I don't want to give too much away from this film. Um, oh, the pig's so cute. Oh, yeah, I, I thought the pig. So cute. I thought it it's was. not like one of those pink pigs. It's got hair. It's snout. It's adorable. The pig is so cute. Yeah, I think they do a decent job of making you feel like the pig, and and uh, the Nicholas Cage are cute. close. Yeah. Okay. They 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 they're you know they they they're 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 a couple. <laughs> um, but movie is good compared to the Lost Daughter. Which one did you like better? I like The Lost Daughter better. Okay, so did I. I think it was uh, deeper, more to figure out, more characters, more complex characters. Yeah, I think so too. So I still back, liked, I still like this movie though. Worth the watch. Yeah, worth the watch. Pig, worth the watch. But in terms of in terms of lingering questions and clarifications or thoughts, you know, the. I, you know, the sadness and grief and how everyone deals with it differently, it makes you think a little bit about how you deal with grief, yeah, well, but it didn't really... Nope. You didn't go on thinking about it after the movie. And it did resonate with me because we all have had loss yes. in our lives and hopefully not too much, but we all, unfortunately that's life mm -hmm. and grief. Um, but it didn't leave me in looking inward and thinking about how I'm dealing no, with this or, me or how I've tried to avoid it or those types of things. Whereas 
the uh, lost daughter made me think about motherhood. Not that, you know, I, something I'm, even though it's something I will no, never experience. It made me think about I just how I had had some of those feelings before. I happen to know some mothers. Yes. <laughs> so, it made me, uh, made me think about the role uh, about motherhood and choices and uh, that maybe it's not maybe it's not so so easy you you're know? just realizing that now I had an idea but it made me think it's been a while since I thought about it I thought that uh, you know what you most just, challenging job you can have I know it's the most rewarding job yeah but the trade-off of you know if you want to have a professional life and you also want to be a very good mother well you can still do both well it's just challenging very Everything's challenging. challenging. And that's very challenging, but yeah. but and you know whatever. We're we, not we, talking we, about that. Lost daughter, we, but you, you can okay. clearly it affected. It, it was more to think about. Yes, more to think about. But one other thing to note: um, the director of this. This was his directorial debut. Oh, so it's two in a row due debuts because it was it? Maggie. It was Maggie. Oh, Jones. you're right. Also. And What's I believe the director wrote this too. Oh, so good. It was. You know. It was. I think it was a. Uh, I liked it. It was a different topic. It, again, like like all movies I seem to see these days, it, it was well shot. It was you know pleasant on the yes. eyes. Um, I thought the, the the tone of the and the way the way it was shot and the mm -hmm. sound. It, it's pretty amazing what they do with these movies. It all fit to add to this story to make it believable and and uh, and added to the sense of this man's isolation and and sadness. Mm -hmm. um, so, good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Hopefully this is a good, good review. Uh, you should leave comments for us on the YouTube page. Give us a thumbs up. And um, if you like this, we'll keep or doing this. Or a thumbs down but telling e us to either, quit. Either way, <laughs> we like doing this because we know it irritates our children. <laughs> so, we're going to keep doing it. And it's also a good way for us to talk. Because we need to talk. Yes. Okay. Till next time, we'll have another review very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>